Syrian citizens in Syria and abroad continue their activities to show support for the presidential elections. Syrian army units carry out successful operations against the armed terrorist groups' hideouts across the country, inflicting heavy losses upon their members. And Syria wins the silver medal in the competitions of the International Scientific Olympi Olympics recently held in Kazakhstan. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian Arab Television in Damascus. Syrian citizens continue their activities to show support for the presidential elections, the army and the national principles. In Damascus, a mass gathering was organized in Yusuf al-Azm Square in support of the army, the national principles and the presidential vote. The participants expressed support for candidates for the presidency both Dr. Bashar al-Assad and to simplify measures before citizens to practice their right and duty towards presidential elections, the Ministry of Interior decided to accelerate the measures of obtaining identity cards instead of lost or broken ones. As election campaigns continue nationwide, the Syrian refugees started to return to their safe houses to take part in the election process. The return of Syrian refugees from the Lebanese territories was accelerated to several areas during the past few days in order to participate in the forthcoming presidential elections and actively take part in rebuilding the country. Chairman of the Central Election Commission of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Chorov, said that the Commission received serious invitation from parliamentarians and experts from Russia to observe the upcoming presidential elections process in Syria, scheduled to be held on the, June, on the 3rd of June this year. Chorov said in a statement to reporters that the Central Election Commission received the Syrian invitation, adding that the invitation is now being studied, but no decision has been taken yet. Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Alexander Lukashevich said in a press conference that it is possible that Russian parliamentarians will take part in observing the presidential vote in Syria. In different contexts, Syrian military units continued carrying out successful operations against the armed terrorist groups, gatherings and hideouts across the country, inflicting heavy losses upon their members and destroying their tools. Army units carried out a large-scale operation in the surroundings of Nawa, Had al gharbiya and Ataman village in Dara countryside targeting terrorists and their hideouts. In Damascus countryside, an army unit eliminated members of terrorist groups belonging to an Nusra Front and destroyed their weapons in Estanguta, Khan Shih, Dariya, and Deir Safir. Another unit targeted terrorist gatherings in the residential address worker city. In Homs countryside, army units attacked terrorist dens in Taldo, at Dar al Kabira, Talbisi, and the rest, and inflicting heavy losses on the terrorists. In Homs, security forces seized a factory for manufacturing explosive devices and motor bombs. In Aleppo, a unit of the armed forces thwarted an armed terrorist group's infiltration attempt from Khan Tuman in Aleppo city towards the safe areas, killing and injuring all its members. A military source said that other armed units killed a number of terrorists and destroyed their weapons in a Rashidin, Garbi Zahra, Bani Zaid, Al Castello and Hanano neighborhoods in Aleppo city. 
Army units also killed terrorists, injured others, and destroyed their vehicles in the villages of Mara, Al Misilmiye, Al Atarib, Akhtarin, Tel Rifat, Tel Sosian, Tel Jibbin, Darit Azze, Sam'an Kitad Al Kafir Karmin, Der Hafir, and the industrial city in Sheikh Najjar in Aleppo countryside. With the participation of popular religious and social sides, in addition to members of the follow-up on the National Dialogue Committee, Khaled ibn al-Walid Historical Mosque witnessed the first Friday prayers after security was restored to the old city of Homs. Homs governor said that the event indicates that Homs is now a safe and stable city, adding that upon directives of President Bashar al-Assad, the authorities are exerting no effort exerting all efforts in rehabilitating service sectors as to facilitate return of locals to their neighborhoods. Metropolitan of Homs and Hama for the Syriac Orthodox, Potros and Nami, expressed relief over the return of security and stability to Homs Old City thanks to the sacrifices made by the Syrian Arab Army. Under the auspices of the Ministry of Social Affairs and on the World Family Day, the Syrian Commission for Family and Population Affairs held a meeting with families of martyrs of the Syrian Arab Army and the international and the internal security forces at the Arab Cultural Center in Kafar Soussi. In the event, included displaying national paintings drawn by children of Dar Rahme orphanage. The commission was also briefed on the problems of martyrs' families. The Presidency of the Republic congratulated the Syrian team who won the silver medal in the competitions of the International Scientific Olympics. Syrian student Sami Rahmi was awarded with the silver medal in the International Mathematics Olympiad for Asia and the Pacific recently organized in Kazakhstan. <laughs> Mrs. Asma Lassad affirmed the importance of the scientific achievements realized thanks to the great care and attention accorded to creativity and invention at all levels. She added that such care resulted in great achievements, not only at the national level, but also at the international arena. Public fury towards the Turkish government has been growing as the rescue operation continued in Suma, following the nation's worst mining disaster. While tensions were high at the coal mine, where the explosion took place, tens of thousands of protesters demonstrated against Erdogan's government, expressing their anger over the government's bad policies, whereas the Turkish policemen fired tear gas against protesters, which resulted in many suffocation cases. As Turkey mourns those who have died in the mining incident, hundreds of protesters voiced their fury in cities across the country, including Istanbul and Izmir. In Suma, however, though there have been moments of rage and bursts of anger. There is an overwhelming feeling of despair. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region, and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English www.syrianline.sy. Now, the latest in business and market news with Narima Hassan, but after a short break.